Hey everyone, Presito here. So as you know, it's meme season at the moment on Solana. So you want to be set up perfectly. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to copy trade channels and call bots and so on, and have those calls forward automatically to your Maestro bot. And then it will automatically buy. I'm going to be showing you guys the best configuration on Maestro bot to automatically sell, set up stop loss, and so on. So I'm going to be covering everything you need to know as simple as possible to get you up and running for the best possible setup. So firstly, I'm going to give you an example of the call channel I'm personally using that I'm copy trading with my robot, and it's important just to show you how the setup will be for copy trading this. So I'm using Roxobot, as you can see, it's really new. Actually, my little brother made this bot and I've worked with him to help him make it and it incorporates a whole bunch of different features. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how exactly it works. I definitely recommend you guys you know, to sign up if you are in meme season. I think it's worthwhile for sure. So basically how it works is it uses different factors and if two or more of these factors are met, it will call that token and it's hit some really big tokens are called peanut and it went a thousand X, same thing for Fred. I'll be showing you guys some of the results over the past week. But as you can see, what it does is it has smart money tracking. So it uh, incorporates some paid tools that uh, track smart money and it tells you what they buy. So if they buy some token and we get a high volume alert, it'll call that token. So that's how that works. It also picks up high volume alerts on low cap tokens. So if there's a lot of volume, unusually high volume on a low cap token, it'll signal that. But keep in mind, it has to signal that along with another one. So it doesn't do many calls a day, which is really nice. It also has alpha wallet monitoring. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know, I cover a lot about alpha wallet tracking. So what we've incorporated, a lot of people ask me what wallets I track. Basically the bot tracks all these wallets that I've personally found along with some people I know. Uh, all the hand-picked list of alpha wallets it tracks all of those wallets and it picks up when they buy a token and if they buy that token and another one of these are met it'll call that so you can see already that's really a lot of alpha there and also it picks up some other things but one of those is dex info updates so when a token pays to update their dex screener for example it will notify so obviously if a token is legit more than likely it'll pay for dex screener obviously most of the rugs don't even pay for that so when it updates the screener along with one of these other things it'll notify so i think it's a really amazing bot the results will speak for themselves as i'll show you you can see here over the past one week and it's already been filtered down a lot more so the calls are going to be probably a bit less than 160 per week hopefully the return has been really good with the hit rate over 40 percent which is a really good hit rate Obviously, it's very dependent on the current market. If the market is very bad, obviously, to get good calls is almost impossible. But while the market is good, calls will be very, very bad. So you can see here, it called Peanut. That went 2000x. It called Hema. That 320x. Fred, 170x. Actually, even a bit more uh, after this uh, screenshot was taken. And Shrub, also 100x. So the average between the 160 calls was about 20x on average. Obviously, that's going to fluctuate a lot. Obviously, if you ape every call, it's very tough to time the top and bottom. And what I do recommend if you do want to get in, at uh, the best is to check the calls for yourself and see whether it fits into the current meta and uh, do some more due diligence and see if it's worth buying. Aping every call is very DGN. I have been aping every single call and I'm going to be showing you guys how with my Astrobot and Auto Forward Bot. So if you want to do that, I'll show you how. But... I wouldn't really advise it just because it's quite degen and you need quite a lot of soul to make it worthwhile. Personally, I'm waiting for, for to hit another thousand X. I missed this one, unfortunately, but I don't want to miss the next one because if you do hit that, obviously it covers everything, including the losses. Obviously very risky. But if you do want to sign up, uh, you can DM my brother on TG. I'll leave his um, at in the video description, at Roxor97. And at the moment, it's two soul a month. And uh, that price will probably increase in the future. So at the moment, if you want to get in, that's uh, the cost at the moment to get access to this. And keep in mind, a lot of the tools that he incorporated are paid tools. And so that is the current price. And I think it's really fair. So leave his contact in the video description. But anyways, let's move 
to Telegram now and talk about how to set up the auto buying. So the first bot you want to use is auto forward messages. So this is the way I'm currently using, although there are different ways you can use. I'm going to leave a link in the video description as well in my video on my sort of scraper bot. You can use that. But for that, you do have to download software, install software. A lot of people aren't a fan of doing that. So this is another way you can do it. And personally, I use this just because it's a lot simpler. And for me, it's easier to keep track of. You don't have to leave your computer on all the time like you do if you have Maestro Scraper Bot. So the way this works is you have this auto forward message bot. It is a paid um, bot, but it's quite cheap for one year access. It's I think like $50 or something. It's really affordable. And personally, I use it a lot. So I, pay, I paid for lifetime access, so it's really worth it. I'll leave the link if you guys want to uh, sign up for this. So what you want to do is, first thing, you will have to find the user ID of the channel. And that you click on, you type forward slash get channel or get group. So if you're copying a channel, which most of the time called channels and bots, it ends up being in a channel. You click on that and it'll get a list of all the channels in with the ID next to it. Then what you want to do is simply type forward, add, then the name of the task. So let's say the task is uh, you forwarding from a call bot to your maestro, which it has to be to your maestro. Add, just name it call bot to maestro, doesn't matter what you name it. Then you paste the ID of the call channel, which you'll, you'll get from searching what channel it is. Then you type dash with this thing and then you paste the id of maestro bot which you will get from typing get user in auto forward message or you can go to this raw data bot and search it there i'll leave the link to that as well also just makes it a bit easier let's say the id of your maestro is this it'll be something like that whatever it is then you just press enter and it will add that task and then once it's added and it says success it'll automatically forward those calls from the call channel to your maestro bot and that will obviously have the contract address in it so the next step is to go into your maestro bot in your maestro bot you want to go some uh, type sniper first thing is you want to go to your wallet config and make sure that is all set up you're gonna the main thing is under call channels where you'll go there to set everything up to scrape those calls that are sent by you but first thing you want to do is go to your wallet settings click on solana click on config and over here you set up your buy and sell so under buy you want to make sure auto buy is ticked or it will not work so that's the main thing you want to make sure of you go in here click on auto buy and make sure that is all set up the amount you buy will be determined under the call channel setting here you can set up some other information like your slippage and your auto sell high and low that you can all set up in here. Also, if you want to auto sell, make sure you're going to sell here and make sure auto sell is enabled. So that is the first step. So once that is done, really simple thing. You go back to your sniper, then you go to call channels, to Solana, click on me. So this will be when a message is forwarded to MaestroBot, it'll automatically buy that based on the contract that is pasted. So in this case, you want to set it up. I'm going to show you guys the settings and the way I do it. So first up is make sure auto buy is ticked. Here you can choose your buy amount. You just click on it and choose how much you want to buy. I've got it at one Solana. Then you'll have your buy slippage, which I've got set to 10%. I think for Solana, that's enough. I know for Ethereum in my previous video, I set it to 100%. But that was more for DJ and early coins that you didn't want to miss. But for Solana, 10% works 99% of the time. Then, that's once that auto buy is ticked, it will start buying that token that's auto forwarded from that call channel. Then you can set up other settings, which I'll show you what I've got set up. Obviously, you can do what you want. But I'll just show you what I have that works for me. So for me, my auto sell is set at sell high when it's up 150%, so around 2.5x. 
but we'll sell 50% of the tokens and that's just to lock in the profit. And then after that, anything can happen. And to do that, you need to click here on sell high. When you click on that, you choose how much percent. In my case, it's at 150. So you just type 150. Then you click on sell high amount. And this is how much you want to sell. So if you type 50, then you're selling half your tokens. So I'll type 50 and that sells half the tokens. So you can see it's set up auto sell high at 150%. It will sell 50% of tokens. And then personally, what I've got on to mitigate some risk as well, I've got an auto sell low because I copy all the calls of Roxelbot. What I've got is auto sell low. If it goes down 70%, it will sell 100% of my tokens. And my reasoning is most of the times, if a meme coin dumps 70%, it's not going to recover. This is 95% of the time from my observations. And in that case, it will just preserve some capital, just a bit of a hedge. So it'll take a few more rugs for me to lose a lot. So just protect some of the capital. If it dumps, you only lose 70% instead of 100%. So that's kind of a fail safe I've got on as a stop loss. If you want to enable that, what you do is you click here, sell low. So this shows the, to choose the threshold. So I'm putting minus 70. So that means if it dumps 70%, so if it goes 0.3x, then sell a low amount. I click on that and I put 100%. So it will sell everything at 0.3x if it dumps it. So that's my setup for my robot. That pretty much covers everything. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I definitely recommend you guys to check out Roxelbot. I think it's worthwhile as i said my brother made it he just got started in crypto so i'm helping out getting started and it's a really really cool tool he put a lot of effort into it and i think it's really awesome like i said i copy every call from it so i'm taking all the risk as well if the calls are bad so i think it's really worthwhile and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to join my telegram always active on there uh, follow me on twitter and subscribe if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time